Okay, everybody, so we are back for the main CBC podcast. Hopefully, you guys are joining us with a uh, very hyped-up topic list here we got for you this week. We're going to talk about some Marvel's Avengers, some Fox details, um, Future of the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Thanos' backstory, and probably some stuff all around uh, that could go with all those topics. In case you guys missed it, we did a... Um, Dark Phoenix spoiler cast before this, so uh, that's what you want to call it. Yeah, I don't think that's a spoiler. Yeah, cast. It, it was just like an I don't know twenty minutes of bashing the movie. But you could also go check that out. I'll make sure I annotate that up in the uh, notes up there for you guys. So with that in mind, as always, this is your host Armin. Find me at Arminis and at Comic Book Cast, and I'm here with Mitch. What's up? You can find me at Mitch Six Nine Two. Also, Tristan. Hey guys, you can catch me at HJ Chance. And Shay. Hey guys, you can find me on Instagram at Mache Sixteen O Two. So, no question of the week this week. I didn't want to kind of delay stuff because, um, obviously, we were planning on doing two podcasts, which we did. So, we'll come back with that next week. But for now, we're just going to kind of uh, get right into the main topics. Uh, the big news this week, kicking off, uh, you know, like the E3 hype and everything, was Square mm-hmm. Enix finally, quote-unquote, revealing mm-hmm. Marvel's Avengers. Now, this is the upcoming video game, so... There's a lot of uh, anticipation for this one, rightfully so. It's another triple A, you know, video game. Yeah, um, I kind of, uh, I, me personally, I'm just starting to hate fan bases because oh, they don't look like the MCU uh. actors, and I'm like, well, they wouldn't be able to pay them for their likenesses. Well, it's not just that. One of the main topics of like hating Ultimate Alliance, which is exclusive to Switch, is. Why are these characters like the Guardians inspired by the MCU? They should take liberties and make them look different. This game makes them look different. Why don't they look like the MCU? They shouldn't take liberties. It's like, what, what, how are you? And it's the I same mean, people. Well, I mean, like, like, this thing, like, likeness rights, actors don't care about that. They, they will just say, yeah, sure, go ahead. Like, so it's not that. It's, it's purely most. more for merchandise from the studio. Like, they right. can make figures of these and, make, and it'll go straight to them. It won't go to the actors. And, that, that's a part of it as well. So. And then, like, because then you see, like, the kind of like the double standard with uh, Marvel, uh, with the uh, Spider Man PS4, where it does, where Peter does not look anything like uh, Tom Holland at at all. Right. And no one said anything mm-hmm. about it. And it's like they have selective amnesia. I, so, yeah. here's the thing with the reveal of this game. Again, I'm using reveal in quotation marks. Um, We don't get gameplay. Like, yeah, we do. There's okay. well, there's glimpses yeah, of gameplay in there, snippets, but like I want to see thirty seconds. Yeah, like that video I put up the, like on Twitter and everything. I share that. What's interesting about it though is like I just want to see what are we doing minute to minute. Like, what's the mission structure? Like, how's the customization? And that's all being shown behind closed doors, so we're kind of like not privy to see that yet. And with the game releasing in about eleven months, I kind of understand why they're not showing it off. But at the same yeah. time. I was hopeful that after like two and a half, almost three years since they revealed this thing, that we were going to get a little bit more than what they shown, you know? like Look at what they did when it came to Kingdom Hearts. Do oh. you really think that <laughs> they're going to sit there and be like, we're going to show you, uh-uh-uh, we're going to do everything behind closed doors, and then we're going to just show you one month at a time here's two more seconds of gameplay oh here's an actual full minute oh look we're gonna re-show you the same thing in a different angle but well isn't that just like game reveals 101 look at god of war yeah, you know amazing. what did you yeah. see at god of war first you saw him walk out the house and stare at a cliff yeah, none of that now. was in the game but yeah, you know it was, it was it's still you know you saw yeah. nothing straight away yeah it was just for from what we saw so far it's just basically alpha of footage and gameplay from yep. what yeah. they yeah. want to show that's actually running at uh running at out i guess yep. a certifiable rate and like and i don't have many issues like people are taking issues with the graphics i'm like i don't have issues with that they look fine like no they they, they look like the spider-man ps4 yeah, yeah the uh, graphics from... look pretty great i mean the only thing I don't like is obviously some of the suit designs, but that's going to be customizable. And they yeah. literally said, we're listening to your feedback, and we're going to be changing them. So yeah. I, I yeah. hope they don't. That's such oh. a slippery slope. Oh, yeah. I mean, because that's from what they said from an interview, because they did do an interview. And they said that they saw the reaction on uh, the internet and Twitter, and supposedly they're going to go back and try and change some things up. Which uh, isn't isn't that hard if it's just, you know, the overall thing. They don't have to actually go back. Right. And redesign the entire model from the ground up. If it's, no, I mean, you know. if it's a, if it's just like, let's, for example, let's say Captain America's shoulder pads, right? Like, those kind of look, I guess, clunky and stupid on him. 
they could literally remodel the shoulder pad on the default model, just mm. replace it with one of the other ones that they're going to have stock mm. that's unlockable, and it's done. Like, I, I don't think they're going to go fully back yeah. in there and be like, let's make him look like Chris Evans, you know? Yeah, it's like, and, no. and like, even that, he looks like the, was it, the ultimate cap with the hodgepodge yeah. of all, yeah. the, yep. all the armor he had so, at one point. There's a lot of people saying it's a Marvel Now suit. I'm like, have you seen the Marvel Now suit? It's nothing like Nothing it. like it, <laughs> yeah. like... Really, but no, it's definitely that one ultimate cap where it's like the, the plate on, mm -hmm. and then like when people saw from the reveal that Hawkeye is gone, but Hank Pym made it into the game. I mean, that's just like the Hawkeye fans' so... like existence, it's just <laughs> so searching it's... for Hawkeye. Well, f what I find interesting is it's young Hank Pym, and it doesn't yeah. seem like he's Ant Man yet, so it's like, hmm. See, now this is my question is he not Ant Man yet, or is he given up being Ant Man? Right, that could be there's that yeah. five year time jump. Right, <laughs> another Avengers thing with five years low, but like you know, if they've said that the Avengers are outlawed, so is he having to give the suit up and he's just made this like pin particle bazooka thing? True, right. and like I guess that's kind of another point I want to talk about. So there is the five year time jump after the initial opening, which we know you'll be playing as the various characters during that section. So is the story like time travel? Like, is it, I mean, it could be. Is it modern day? Like, it, there's so many questions. And then it's like, how does it connect to Spider-Man? Because they were very much not wanting they're to say... They're about it. They're like, it, we're, we can't talk about that. If it was a no, they would just outright say no. So it's another yeah. one of those, hmm. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say that it is connected. Like, there's Definitely. too many signs pointing to it. Like, sure, you could say it's a coincidence with the whole, like... Oh, they're on the West Coast and Taskmaster's fought the right. Avengers before. It's like I, I think it's on it's, it's purposely there. Well there's like, definitely it's... there's even a moment where Marvel's game director, when talking with both studios and presentations, he said Spider Man was the Iron Man one and yeah. future games are all gonna kind of be like the MCU. It's like no, they're connecting all of this, so yeah. it's and, like, I've had people say like, Oh, you know, one's exclusive and it's like, so what? What does that matter? I mean, yeah, Xbox guys can't play it, but that's the Sony deal they yeah. struck. So if you want the full story, you got to get it's, a PlayStation. It's like, just, just look mm -hmm. at the Disney Plus model in the movies. Not yep. everyone's going to get that service. So what? They're still going to go ahead and use it. Exactly. Yeah. And, like, another one is that it's going to be with uh, games as a service. We're going to be getting more Marvel heroes as updates. Now, yeah. that's the thing. Is it a games as a service? Because they didn't say that. This is an well, action RPG with co-op in it. Well, from, from what they, from what's been shown, as you're going to be getting updates, they have to pay for the characters some way. Yeah, and... but you, don't, you don't necessarily have to... So I mean, they don't have to, but... To have I, I know, I mean, they don't have to, but they're probably I mean, going, going the, to. The way I see it is, like, you're buying the $60 game, right? And they said there's going to be frequent updates with new characters and levels for free to everybody because no season pass or anything. And no loot boxes. So there's no right. Like, there's no micro. So to me, what that's telling me is there will be paid DLC, but you're going to get costumes. It's okay. Like, you like that new Sam yeah, Wilson Falcon yeah. suit? How about you buy that for five bucks? Because they will make so much money off of that. Like, that's what a lot of free to play games do. And they honestly make hand over fist. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, it's... but then doesn't that kind of go against the loot box thing? Because that's it doesn't because of the fact that they'll allow you to grind to get yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's how like cell phone games. That's how they do it. And like... I mean, what they specific they specifically said it's not pay to win. So a skin isn't pay to win. So I think they're do doing that slippery slope of hey, pay attention to the words we're using. You know, like it's kind of like Borderlands. Yeah. You know, Borderlands was like we're not having DLC. But you're playing for skins, and everybody was like, yeah. "But what?" <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So from the from the character standpoint, like, like, well, um, what movies are coming out around that time? What May next year? Black Widow. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, like, I, I, was, I've always I was wondering, like, like oh, oh, like, oh, you know, Black Widow's going to have Taskmaster in it because in this she fights Taskmaster. It's like, <laughs> no, don't do that. Well, well not even <laughs> so, that. I'm just saying, like, what future movies they could, you know. Uh, time it around for the updates about you know what which new char characters or heroes are going to be in uh, yeah. you'll be able to play mm -hmm. as. I mean, we already know just from the opening the uh, like the Inhumans are going to be heavily involved mm -hmm. with this game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh yes, me and Mitch. Nice the, the second night, the second banner because like oh the Terrigen react. I'm just like what the fuck is? Yeah, I, I freaked <laughs> out. I was like yes, this is. So it. you can tell you can tell this game was in development five years ago. My boys are coming back. <laughs> 
<laughs> just like, oh, they didn't get the memo that humans are done, did they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a little too late for that one. Uh, but obviously, like, when the Terrigen explosion happens, you know, that's it's kind of... Like, that, that voiceover's got to be, like, Miss Marvel, sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. The thing is, it's like, one great reasoning they can be doing the Terrigen Mist is a lot of people don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So mm-hmm. that is... They, they had a Terrigen incident. It's in the water. It's in fish. Like, there's constantly people popping up in and out that have the Terrigen and have become inhumans. So this is a great way to be like, well, if it was on a larger scale, here's how we can show you that this is how the Avengers would have dealt with it. It's such a small scale because it's such a little bit amounts inside of people right now that it could or could not activate it. Yeah, in plus, those there is the whole like you know you got to explore that aspect of it because it's such a fascinating and different world. Like mm. it, it's, I mean they they said they're gonna go even at more obscure than most people realize. They're like, oh, if there was a character that was in like a handful of issues, we'll bring that character in and make a story around them. It's like oh, so they're really like. Because they said they're looking to push this game, like, for a few years of free content. Yeah. So you can kind of yeah. tell what their, tr- like, frame of mind is. Yeah, and if, like, the public spaces or anything, like, Destiny, that would be pretty cool with, like, you know, their version of heroic events. But, uh-huh. then, it, but then it comes to, like, the new newer players not knowing how to make them uh, a, the harder tier and, you know, just screwing everything up. Because it's like... See, hmm. like... My my thing with like the whole public spaces and everything, yeah. you you're 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 playing as the Avengers. You're not making your own. Yeah. So, can you really do a public space like that? Right. Because you're gonna have like twelve caps running around. Like it's, it's not the same as Destiny, where like sure you have a class of soldiers. I mean, I mean technically they can because like even with like Destiny, uh, for me personally, I've been seeing like more hunters. Yeah, but that's that's a class of right uh, the soldier it's not you have 12 caps they'll America explain a bunch of worlds lovely. merging upon itself mm. and it's just like that's why there's 30 caps running around mm. see i i like i think that if it is going to have a public space it's going to be limited to what you can like the amount or, of plays you can have. No, so, it's gonna, so it's going to be like anthem where there's like only four four people and a giant public space can, um, I mean, can yeah. Not, can we not compare anything to Anthem? That'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, well, that's that's what it is. It's basically one giant public space. So then you got four, uh, you got four people playing in in that public space, yeah. and that, that's basically it. I mean, they can I mean, make the, it work. Like, cool, there was that Marvel Heroes game that came out, and what took you yeah. out of it was like, all right, I'm playing as Emma Frost, and you drop down into Manhattan, and there's like 17 Emma Frosts running around. You're like, ah. No, I think they're going to do kind of like how Left 4 Dead did it, that it's going to populate a world, and if you're Black Widow, you're only going to be a part of a world that needs a Black Widow. Yeah, Yeah, that would make sense. Because if they do it that way, then you feel like you're continuing the story, and you're not having five of the same character walking around and doing the same thing. It's going to be like, here's these public ones, and then you can be like, hey, here's my friend code. I want my friends to do it. Friends code? What is this, Nintendo? I don't know. And then then you get people waiting to get into matches because everyone wants to be Iron Man, but the sole Hulk player gets to get in a match instantly because everyone needs Hulk. I'm gonna See, guess. That's, if it is, that's if it's a game. Like, I'm still not convinced, and I will not be until they say it, that's a game as a service. Because yeah. that's something you say when you reveal your game. They said so little, that's what's causing a lot of confusion. Like, it's... But, like, again, you know, they did say action RPG with cinematic storytelling. You can't really yep. do that with a game. I mean, you suppose you could. You could, like, just go completely wild. But, I don't know, until they say it directly, I'm not going to believe it is like that. Yeah, well, I- I'm gonna guess it's gonna because PlayStation has exclusive rights to a bunch of DLC and content yeah. first. So, so uh, sorry, Xbox, we're playing a Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. It's just how um, it goes. How- when do you think, like, maybe Paris Games Week or something coming up in like a couple months? Sony usually has a presence there. I think they could maybe bring them on stage and show off, like, because yeah. there's no way they're waiting till December to be like. Here's official gameplay. It's like no, 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 no. I, I say, can I, see I, them I think, doing that. Yes, yeah, I, I was gonna say that. Like, I think December might be your best bet, oh. but I wouldn't be surprised if we see something before. I can see it being in December because you're gonna get the after Christmas hype. Then you're getting people yeah. excited to purchase this game in what May? Um, in May, yes. But he, here's an issue I have with May. Right, and follow along here. This 
year, the beginning of it showed off how many games can like cannibalize one another. If yeah. you look at the next, like, if you look at March, April, May, June of next year, there's literally like eighteen high profile games coming out, including Cyberpunk. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. It is because like before, I think only a couple companies were spacing out all their AAA titles, and then now everyone's all, well, we can do it too. And then and, like the yeah. first four or five months, it's just jam packed. <laughs> I say, just look at September this year. Like, September's oh. going to hurt a lot of people. Yeah, it is. But, um... So, I mean, I don't know. We're going to talk about it more um, when new info drops. We'll be talking about it, covering because we're all going to play this game. So, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's definitely going to be something we do. But for now, that's all we know. When more stuff drops, uh, we got more details on that giant Fox crossover that they wanted. Now, there's a lot of interesting stuff here, so uh, Mitch, if you want to take this away and give us some of the details that Fox was uh, looking at. Um, well, we were completely wrong in saying it had to be Galactus, which I think the smart thing would have been Galactus, but they were going to do Civil War. Yeah. I, I think they were going to have, was it Human Torch was going to do the Stanford like, incident thing, or whatever yep. it was in the comics, where he, he blows up a school. Um, fan, Mr. Fantastic was going to chop Wolverine's arms off. <laughs> like, like, okay, really? Like, but yeah, you just think Civil War, but with all these characters. In so it. I can just see, like, in my mind, because they revealed, you know, the characters that were going to be in it. Obviously, it was going to include Deadpool at the time and Daredevil. Yep. I could just imagine, like, they're trying to fight against the Accords because they had that in their film as well. And they're like, we know the best lawyer around, Matt Murdock. And then he just shows up in court being like, I dare you to oh devil God. around me because oh. you know fox 2010 writing like oh lord uh, i'm surprised you didn't say justice is blind oh, oh. <laughs> no oh. Oh. like here's the thing um had this movie come out imagine how different the mcu would be because they wouldn't have wanted to use civil war because it would have been like no yeah. that's already yeah. been ruined like oh like, we dodged a See, bullet. That, that's one. why they went in there and went, uh, you can't cross these characters over, sorry, bye. Yep. <laughs> it's like, no, we need to save ourselves. Yeah. <sighs> I mean... So... I can't even imagine it, because I'm thinking no. of all the Fox characters. So you have the X-Men, <laughs> the Fantastic Four, and Daredevil at the time, and Deadpool. Uh, like, no. Yeah. The way it that... literally would have been their Justice League. There'll oh. be no build up to this thing. It would have just happened and it would have tanked. They would have been better off if they did like their crossover being zombies because it was at yeah. the peak and height of zombie love. Right. Everybody would have gone and seen it just because of the fact that it's like, hey, it's zombies. It's our favorite characters what? becoming zombies. And you have the primary person who created what? it, which was Reed Richards. Here's so. the thing I that's interesting about this. At the time they were writing this and wanted to shoot this, the actors attached to Fantastic Four were already gone, and they could not yeah. come back. So this would have been a new version of the Fantastic Ew. Four, not Chris Evans, not any of, the, like, Michael Chiklis or anything, who at the time, Michael Chiklis was already peaking in his career with the S.H.I.E.L.D., so, like, Captain America was already there. So you would have had to recast all of them. They wanted a new version of Deadpool, from what I'm to understand, because they're, like, the whole Wade Wilson thing didn't work out with Rothman, so... It would have been an entire new cast, but, like, everything about this movie, the way they were coming at it, just screams Fox was throwing stuff at the wall, just yeah, like Warner Brothers, yeah. as a response to Avengers. Like, that's literally what it screams of. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but... But hey, we dodged a bullet. <laughs> yeah, we did. Well, I think we dodged a ricochet of bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncing garbage everywhere. But... To play a little devil's advocate, what if this came out, and what if it was actually like a competent movie? Can you imagine that? Um, no, I, I, I can't. can't. I can't. <laughs> no, they can't even get Dark Phoenix. Yeah, the fact that they had two attempts on Dark Phoenix, they had the availability of people who actually wrote these movies, or uh, wrote the comics, um, they decided to keep going back to people who failed already and they're like you know we're gonna give you another shot to ruin our franchises that we're trying to make here it's like the abby arad effect they're yeah. like hey who's failed spider-man multiple times bring that guy back and it's just like and just how their reboots already were for fantastic four i have 
no hope whatsoever that they would have been able to actually pull this off. It would have been, it would have killed, I think, even Marvel at that point. <laughs> like, it, everybody would have been like, oh, oh, this is, this is what Marvel allows out? Ooh, it would have yeah. hurt the Marvel brand. It's certainly like, just the thought that Disney then wouldn't be able to do Civil War because the similarities is frightening because it's like, the MCU could have changed so much. Like, oh, yeah. But I, I just can't see Mr. Fantastic or Reed, like, stretching his hands to a molecule wide to cut off Wolverine's arms. Yeah, how so, does that work? I, I don't know. Like, why would a molecule wide hand cut through, like, adamantium? I don't understand, but... Yeah. Just, just don't question it. I, can, I mean, I, I already have. Like. Look, <laughs> intelligent writers clearly at the helm of this would have figured it out, right? Mm, no, they would have. Apparently, heard, they would have said that his joints didn't have adamantium, and oh. that's how he was able to because it was only attached to the bones, not the to joints the joints. Are still carnage. What? <laughs> so yeah, and that's where he hit. He hit perfectly, and since. He is a scientist. They would have automatically been like, oh, he's smart. He would have been as smart as a surgeon and knew exactly where to cut. I feel like this is an exact excerpt of what they were saying while coming up with this idea. Yeah. They're like, and? and they, I guarantee you, they saw the maker in the ultimates and went, oh, he has a scalpel. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're probably right. Oh, no. I know the exact panel you're talking about as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Him bending over the table. Jesus. It's just like, oh. Oh, this. <laughs> that's all I can like. If they were gonna do the maker, fine. It's a different take. But yep. then again, uh, I didn't want Fox to do the maker, so. Uh. So yeah. Just imagine, guys, in an alternate universe right now, they got this film, and MCU uh, has been burnt to the, the ground. This is how the incursions happen. This is how it happened. <laughs> so I guess uh, that's that. Victoria Alonso, uh, she made some rounds talking about the X Men, and. Uh, made a lot of people mad about the um x-men name essentially she said it's outdated because the men part kind of like the whole mystique line in the in dark phoenix it's like look i i'm trying to play devil's advocate and understand where you're coming at from with this but like it's mankind x-men and the x gene like there's nothing more to look into out of this and a lot of people are worried that they're gonna like mess around with the x-men name now due to this like see like i'm okay with it like, i get what you say you know who, oh, who named like who named mankind it was men right it's called mankind because men named it that yeah um so you know like, but what but are you again, gonna like, call it x people it's <laughs> simple you called it x factor the original x factor team were the original five uh, true you know, it's not like the X-Men have a thousand different team names you can... Like, sure, you're kind of getting rid of some stories, but at the same time, there's... You know, there's plenty of names to choose from. It's, it's, and it's still X-Men. Like, it's still I don't know why. I just, keep, it see, I just keep getting to, like, a 90s vibe from X-Factor. Yeah. Well, because... Bring on Joe what, was Rogan! Was it... <laughs> <laughs> was, Fear Factor. Was it the, oh, was it the 80s X-Factor came in, or was it the 90s? I, can't no, it, I think it was, like, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, I think like, it was yeah. in that period, like... Well, Which you know, that was that was prime X Men time, so you know. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. But they're, they're just gonna call it X. Here's the thing: I, I don't care what they call it. For all like, to me, they could just call it Marvel's Mutants. I'm a hundred percent okay with it. Like, but to me, if you're gonna have an established team, like at some point, it's like the Avengers. Imagine if they never called the Avengers the Avengers. Right? I, I feel like it's something missing. Like. They've been called the X Men for like fifty plus years. Like, yeah. At some point, you just got to have a team called the X Men. I don't. I I understand where they're coming at from with this, but it's like, you know, yeah, you could mine some of the other ones. You could call it X Factor, or whatever else you can come up with. But to me, just like X Men holds that everybody knows that, right? Like yeah. everybody knows that. Like it's such a unanimous name. It's like the Spider Man and Superman logo. Like. People around the world who have no idea who these characters are have seen that logo because it's everywhere. And the Batman so. logo, too. But the, the, right. logo, the logo doesn't change. Yeah. It just like, evolves. Sure you, like, like, sure, you, uh, yeah, like, like the X-Men. Oh, okay. So what What would the logo, like... Cause, again, just have the X. No. That is... That would be a little it's, strange. It's, it's but, what yeah. the movies have been doing for 20 years. And, they're, like, you know, yeah. look at the comics right now with House of X and Powers of 10. That like, is true. They're still just using the X, like... 
Oh, you know? I wonder if they call it the House of X. Instead of Xavier's they school, do. they call it the House do. of X. See, I'd be fine with that. See, I, I brought up on Twitter, like, just called it Academy X. Play up on the, um, the school vibe. And someone went, but what do you call the team? Like, you can't be like, okay, event, like, Academy X assemble. <laughs> like, that's a very good point. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a mouthful. Like, but, I don't know, I'm fine with it either way. If they call it X-Men, great. If they call it X-Factor or something else, great. No, it doesn't bother me. No, as long as I get the original five. Yeah, I'm, it, I'm cool. if, they, if they change the name, it's not going to bother me. Like, that, I, I want to say that. Like, I'm not going to be opposed to it. As long as the story and the characters are done correct, like, I don't care. But... Which they're going to be since it's done by Marvel yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just I just don't get people like trying to reach and be like oh but you wouldn't take this out of this one like it's just like oh you, it's you, not you, the same <laughs> like, yeah you, you taking offense to when you're talking about the Young Avengers Champions thing on Twitter oh That's no it, no not not that one not that that was uh, a different, completely different thing but like, <laughs> that, that guy was dumb as well <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like oh, I, I don't know it, 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 people just blowing out of proportion. I mean, like, I, you know what? I would be okay with it if they just called them X Force, mm. like because I like yeah, that, like, you know, team. Like, like sure, fair enough. X Force is kind of the hit squad, and I, yeah. I get why people wouldn't want it to be called that. And also, you kind of get rid of X Force stories, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. You can still just do it. I mean, yeah, but, whatever. You know, it's the MCU. Mm. They're changing aspects that are established. Yeah. So, like, if you call it, you know, I, I don't know, Marvel's Mutants or something, they're called X Force in yeah. there. Like, I'd be a hundred percent okay with that. Like, it's like you know, like. I... One of the reasons why I'm fine with it as well, you know, I, I've been sitting on this show for years preaching that they should call it the Future Foundation instead of Fantastic Four. Yes. So if I was against this, it'd be a bit hypocritical, but... Uh-huh. It, no. I bet you in the movie, if they do decide to change their name away from X-Men, they will sit there and at one point be like, what should we call ourselves? And it will be one of the guys who say, well, let's be the X-Men. And they'll make a joke out and of it. And they'll make a yeah. joke, and the yeah. girl's just like... I ha I'm a heavier lifter than you. <laughs> and, like, something funny like that, and that's the, the how they'll go. The Marvel humor that will piss off people when it's in a commercial, yeah. but, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that, that'll be it. And, and that's how they'll do it. And then they'll be like, eh, somebody will make a really bad joke of, don't force this on them, and be like, there you go, we're the X-Force. Like, <laughs> I'd be, you know, I think they have a lot of X names they can use. Oh, like, yeah. so... It is what it is. But here's the thing about the X-Men and, like, their name and everything. We don't even know if they're going to even use, like, what's been established. Like, are true, you going to give true. us a new Professor X again? A new Magneto? It's like, no. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it, they have to be real careful I, I with can, these characters. I can see Magneto taking a backseat for a while. Oh, God, yeah. I can see the Xavier School also taking a backseat for a while. Like, it depends on also how they introduce them into the world. Yeah. How long mm -hmm. are they people who have already been here? Are they only here now because of everything that's happening right. with all of the multiple universes? Like, we don't know how they're going to come. So we don't know how we're going to be able to create a story with it. Because Xavier starts his school way back in the freaking day. They can't sit there and be like, oh, this entire time we've had an Xavier school for gifted children. <laughs> they just never bothered to do anything. anything? Yeah. yeah um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon. Uh, you know, and soon <laughs> relative, probably like five he was, years. He was waiting <laughs> yeah. 30 years to get certified. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta get those licenses. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back to talk about X-Men. Fantastic Four, possible 2022 release, has been recently rumored. Um, a lot of people backing these claims. Mm -hmm. uh, That's really soon. And apparently, it's coming from it's coming from a good place. It's it is. And from what we're hearing, Peyton Reed from Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp really wants to do his story, which he was originally attached to Fantastic Four with the originals and he wanted yeah. to do a sixties period piece and they told him he was stupid. So he left that. Um, if you give it to Peyton Reed, I'm there day one. Like I, I was going to be there day one anyway, but he's a great director and I think he, he can do it. He also understands the family aspects. Yeah. Look at Ant-Man yeah. yep. and the Wasp. Like she, they did everything to be able to get the mom back once they found out that it was possible all thanks to Scott's accident. And they, understand family and dynamic but they also understand the want to love each other don't want to love each other kind of yeah, aspect as I, well so it's yeah. going to be a really great way to now, be like hey here's how we can... four of them 
Yeah. Right. And Mitch, <laughs> I want to ask you this, because you've been more plugged in on that side of Twitter with this. Why are a lot of people saying that Peyton Reed is the worst choice possible? Like, I, I think, I, I don't know. I, I, people, I'm honestly confused. There's, there's a small factor of people that didn't like Ant-Man and the Wasp. Like, sure, it's not the best Marvel movie they've done, and it's kind of like the mediocre one. But at the same time, it's just like, you know... Just because you make one movie you don't like doesn't mean you can't make a movie you do like. I, I was going to say, like, Zack Snyder's out there batting bad movie after movie for DC, and he still kept getting work, and people want him. Like, Peyton Reed's made competent movies, so, yeah. like, I, I don't understand the outrage for him. Um, no, I, I don't get it. Especially but with something he loves, like Fantastic Four. Like, the dude, yeah. if you hear him talk about it, like, he's so passionate about them. I'm like, there's no way he would flop on this. Like, No. But at the same time, I kind of... I'd I'd watch his Fantastic Four movie. I kind of want someone else. You just because he already has a franchise. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. kind of there it's, as well. You know? It's like if you, if you want to if you want to cross directors over on franchises, do that with Avengers. Yep. Like that's the franchise that lends itself to that. You got like a multitude of different voices. I I don't necessarily want a Fantastic Four movie to feel like an Ant Man movie. Yeah. It's gonna kind of feel like it anyway with the whole family bit, but like it needs to be different. But. I don't know, that's just me. But. I, I honestly just feel like it's really soon. Um, oh, it is soon. Like, because you know, it, it, we just had the other... We had four stick, what, five no, years no, no, ago? No. It, like, three? Three? It was 2015, it was four. Oh, but, you know, okay. that, that's, seven, that's seven years ago. It felt after. like ages ago. I know, it feels like a long it's time It's not ago. bad, but I, I think time would be perfectly primed for 2022. Like, it's... It, it is, is seven soon. years after the fact, so, like... It, it, okay, so it's seven years after that, but... They just got the rights. Do they have they sat there and been like, all right, we are sitting on like twenty different scripts right now that <laughs> oh, yeah, we hope yeah, yeah. I, to have. I can guarantee I put and I put my house on it. They've <laughs> had the scripts long before Disney brought Fox. Yeah. You just change the name and you have something else. It's, yeah. Like there, I mean, there's no way they didn't have that plan. Like, it, well, Kevin said they always have contingency plans for when yeah. things come back home. Uh, yeah, well, look at Spider-Man. Right, that was yeah. quick addition. Uh, and to me, it's like, if let's say hypothetically they're going to make this 2022 release date, right? That would mean you're tossing a member of the Fantastic Four into some other movie somewhere between now by and then. 20, 2020, 2021. So, hey, guess what I think the, the February 2022 movie, Black Panther. Put Reed Richards in that. Oh, he would be a perfect fit, too. Like, because like it's also the Wakandan nice little... outreach, let's say in New York or something, you know, you yeah. can put Reed Richards. Yeah. It's also oh. a nice little flip parallel to the comics where he first appeared in their comics and he's going to first appear in his Exactly. Movie, so. Oh, man. Plus, could you imagine someone like Ryan Cougar going out there and casting? No. Oh. And like sitting because he would. I, oh. If it's not Krasinski and Blunt, you can keep it. I don't want <laughs> anyone else. Just those two, please. I, this is going to be interesting. So then what age do we have the Fantastic Four? Because they obviously can't be an established team. By 2020... Uh, if they keep Peyton Reed's 60s idea, they can make it. Yeah. Stable. Okay, yes. They could definitely, but then what have they been doing since the 60s? Right. Hiding? He, he's my, like... To, I don't know if this is going to be what he's doing or not, but like my pitch would be, you have him in the 60s. It's the one decade the MCU hasn't explored from the 1900s. So, you know, it's kind of perfect for that. You have the cosmic rays be quantum based. So they go up there, they get hit by these rays, they get thrown through the multiverse, they land in ours. See, that's more or less kind of like the um, the, the idea. Like, I, I made a video on it, like, I don't know, five, six years ago or something. Right after Ant Man did the whole mm -hmm. quantum realm thing, that's kind of exactly what I said. Like, I want the 60s explored, and they were kind of like the first secret NASA mission style. Mm -hmm. They get lost out there, and maybe it is a multiverse, so maybe they weren't in this one, but they end up in ours through, you know, cosmic ray, quantum bullcrap. You can explain it however the hell you want. It's science mumbo jumbo, you know, right? But like, to me, I definitely I want a period piece first. So yeah. you could kind of, I would say so maybe we're thirty-five. A phase one. Yeah, like thirty-five yeah, to forty-year-old actors, I think would be perfect. So. Yeah. So then. Here, let me continue then my question. <laughs> what happens then? Okay, they're from another realm or another multiverse. What happens to... There's no way in Blue Blazings that we don't have one of those four members already established then in this universe. So are we going to have then multiple of the Fantastic Four 
if they sit there and potentially have them multi jumping? Right. And then right. do they then train, say ours are teenagers right now? Do they sit there and be like, This is your potential and they train them to I mean be ours and then we send this team home and that's how we get see, a younger that, version? That's what you do. You do Fantastic Four as the movie. And on Disney Plus, you do Future Foundation with the younger cast and the TV show. No, nah, this this is what you do, right? Yeah. You, you had the Fantastic Four in the '60s. In our universe, the shuttle exploded. Oh, yeah. oh that's so sad. Yeah. That could work. <laughs> and that way, everyone knows who they are. You know, like. Like, how everyone. did you guys survive? It's like, uh, yeah, you know when the yeah. Avengers mess things up with Thanos? <laughs> Surprise! Ripples in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... I don't know, like, if this ends up making that 2022 release date, super hype. If it doesn't, I won't, I won't be sad. It's like, I know they're coming, so take your time. Because, like, here's the thing, I, I don't believe that the Phase 4 dates we have so far are everything. No. There's, there's, like, she, she tried to fit all the sequels and everything in there, it's not enough. Yeah, it's Like, not. You, you can't get an Avengers movie at the end of it, so I can see it extending past it, and clearly, like, they're, they're going to be part of Phase 4. Yeah, I there's got no it. There's no way they don't. I figured it out. We're going to go with Mitch's idea that our shuttle busted, but that created the ripple because of the snap going th and? all through time. It created the ripple. Theirs exploded. The other one popped through. Sure. Yeah. 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 I'll take, take it. For that. And that's how, and, but they're able to age differently because they're not from our multiverse. Oh, and how, and, and here's how you find out that, or they find out they're in a different reality. They land on the blue area of the moon. Um, and you have these humans like a Tillin and all that. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> don't. You're pulling this up too high. <laughs> Did we... Uh, Papa Feige put the humans properly? Uh, Seriously. That's how I, like, I'm not expecting any of that. So if I don't get it, I'm not going to be disappointed. But like that, that's exactly how I do it. If like, I don't just... get the Inhumans, it's at least a 2 out of 10. Inhumans, oh, yeah. 9. I'm showing... Uh, don't, you mean, don't you mean a 4 out of 10? Oh. <laughs> well... I guess we'll come back to talking about Fantastic Four maybe this summer when they drop some hints towards what's coming out. Uh, hey, D23. D23 in San Diego. We're going to find out a lot, apparently, between those two shows. So, um, Hype. Disney Plus, let's see what they have to offer as well. By the sound of it, we may or may not get Thanos' backstory in The Eternals. Uh, where's this coming from, Mitch? Because there's been some concept uh, art that's out there. This is current. I think it's from actually from Victoria Alonso. Uh -huh. It's definitely one of like the head Marvel like, producers and all that. Yeah, she is. So, um, no, she said it's it's kind of a waste if you don't. Yep. That explore. You know, they we know that in an earlier draft of Infinity War, they had the flashbacks and Titan and everything. So just you know, Eternals. He is one of them, or he's a deviant born Eternal. So you know, just put him in there. Why not? Yeah. Uh, the here's. Like, the whole thing with Thanos. He has one of the best character arcs in the MCU when it comes to a villain. But yep. maybe if you go back to Eternals and you explain that a little bit more. And you show that Mad Titan aspect. And you elaborate on his story of how he wanted to do the whole genocidal thing. It, it does lend itself more towards building the character, you know, backstory. Like, we see obviously Captain Marvel did that a little bit with Ronin and the... The Empire mm -hmm. there, so it's like, I, I honestly, I wouldn't mind that, and it's not out of the question again. Like it's totally no. lends itself to it because you know Thanos's relatives and everything, and the connection to the Eternals is mm -hmm. literally in the comics. Like it's I not say, he, new. He's literally from one of the biggest Eternals in the comics. Yep. Like if you if you look at their like we we're gonna have to have their history and how they came about. We're gonna have to then learn about Kronos. Kronos's kids is Thanos's father. Yep. So we're gonna have to learn about him at some point, and you know, it's just it's just there. Like, just just put it in. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. it's not like you're taking away from anything else. So just just do it. But the, the, the whole concept art stuff, like, I think it was Ryan Farr. I think this is what his name is. Mm -hmm. He he said that like these are titans. They're not like the Eternal Eternals. Right. So like they're also like they they did make it into Infinity War because you can just about see him on on the Titan shot. But like they're not his parents. It's not the little kid in there's not Star Fox. So don't worry about that. But people didn't listen to that and they flipped out. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. It'll be interesting to kind of see what created Thanos to be the way he is. I feel like if we don't get a Thanos backstory, I'm not gonna 
care as much because of the fact that Thanos, I feel like we got so much with Thanos and we know that his past allowed him and created him to be who he is. Mm -hmm. And he kind of was like, I was shown as an outcast and here I am proving them wrong after they're all dead. Um, so it will be really interesting if we do get his backstory because then mm -hmm. I hope it is a younger and it is him being persecuted or well, his something. Thing, all, all you have to do for Thanos is show him being born, his mother try and kill him. Yep. That, that's, that's all you need and explains everything. That, that's kind of like the basis of why he's like he's anyway. Obviously the deviant gene plays a part in it, but like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Like, just literally that one, like, with her and the scalpel from Thanos Rising done. Yeah, the, I mean, if they just take elements from the Tan Thanos Rising comic, I think that could work too. Just show little mm. glimpses of, like, and like Shay said, if I don't see it, I'm not losing anything. But yeah. if I do see him and his backstory, and they flush it out in this Eternals movie, automatically, I think the audience realizes that in the commercials. It's like, oh. Oh, okay. I th that's mm. kind of an extra sell because they know him from the two of the biggest movies of all time, right? Yeah. And then they can flesh out on his story. So either way, if we get it, perfect. That's awesome. Explore more of it. If we don't get it, it's like, well, I'm not losing anything. So um, mm. sweet. It'd be, like, an, it'd be an odd choice if they didn't put it in neck because they're in this whole kick of fleshing out everything. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. why would you not flesh out like your biggest movies villain? Right? Yeah. Well, look at how Endgame was able to make previous movies better so yeah. and yeah. get like this eternals can actually make thanos's character even better like zemo we're getting has been oh, confirmed yeah. for um winter soldier and captain america so when it comes to that show you're going to have a much better zemo character so they're really going back now and being like let's make these characters that were really good even better let's make these mm. movies that may have not been the best even better like it's a thing that they're doing because they have such a large universe and until they decide to change and completely rewrite the universe they can always continue building more on these particular types of characters yeah. well they're being smart about it because like we are going in a completely different direction now. you've got shang chi you've got eternals and you've got whatever else they're planning but at the same time they are using the old stuff like you know mm -hmm. here's a bit of thanos in your new but you know here's the captain america and winter soldier show like here's Shang-Chi and then here's Black Widow like they're, they're just going backwards and forwards like introducing new stuff while keeping the familiarity around yeah 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 so I mean if this is gonna happen we'll know by the end of the year when Eternals is in production so yes. like gearing up to you know and having that release date so we'll know some of the details and obviously if they're using young Thanos Broen's got to be back right like you're not gonna replace him uh, I would have thought, but I mean, you could because he's a kid. Or well, it depends how much you show of him, really. True, yeah. yeah well, mm. as, if you keep his voice, you already have him mo capped, so he can just continue mo capping and make him look younger. Yeah. That's yeah, true, it's true. But then I mean, you know, are you going to have like a little five year old Thanos with Broden's voice? Like, make him talking think philosophically. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Sits down at the kitchen table, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they hit puberty the moment they're born. Like we don't I mean, know. Sure, sure they are. Sure. Who knows? He's balancing a spoon above a cereal. Wouldn't it be nice <laughs> if this was perfectly balanced? They're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, oh, I will take good. I will pay good money to see that. Like I, I need that. And since all Marvel and Disney do is comedy, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So um, yeah, Thanos, Eternals. We'll find out soon. And uh, wow, that's uh, that's the end of the show. Ooh. We made it without a lawnmower too. Oh, the <laughs> the other member of CBC, the lawnmower, didn't join us. Thank <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> uh, it's a very uh, good show. They got two podcasts this week. That's that's way too generous of us. That's... They did. So we need to up it and give them three. No, no, we don't. We're not that insane. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, there was enough news this week for another one, but... Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if any of it holds, and then we'll have another show. It's been like three and a half, four-ish weeks now of good news. It's kind of uh, yeah. shocking. And leading into San Diego, obviously, it's going to be uh, more and more in a D23, and then end of the year when inevitably some trailers start dropping. Oh, yeah, Black Widow will be by the end of the year. No, I'm talking about Morbius. Get out of here with that Black Widow oh, nonsense. 
Morbius is coming. You and your dang Morbius. I said I, I gotta mention. I actually mention, forgot that movie was a thing until right that second. I gotta mention at every podcast <laughs> I said, so anywhere I can work it in. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys don't even understand the hype for Morbius. I, I have yet to see reports of Jared Leto being transported to a mental asylum in Transylvania. So. That's because they're scrubbing those from the news. <laughs> they don't want to realize that the vampire his time is real. All, all in that case right now. Yeah. Oh. That's why no I'm one's going to I'm going to save this stream, get to what ju- the bits John donated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we just get away from Morbius. So, yeah, thanks for joining us this week, guys. Uh, catch you later.